Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit the Dunk. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Logain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Logain wild, that does. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Go on, then. Good luck to you, then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I thought Grey Wardens knew all about the Darkspawn. The King thought it was funny that Tehan called him reckless, and they fought about the Queen. To the Tehan's daughter, no less. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. I was told all Howe's forces are overdue. Good night for it, Warden. My faith sustains me. I shall not fear ten thousand men should they set themselves against me. Though all before me is darkness, yet shall the maker... And I'm off. ...as light be my guide. My faith sustains me. I shall not fear ten thousand men should they set themselves against me. There are lots of dogs spawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. 
King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. You impressed his majesty nonetheless. He could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. But that's not an argument I'll repeat here. You're no surface dwarf, I can see it in your eyes. Smart are the Grey Wardens to look for new recruits in Orzammar. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Welcome to the King's camp, my lord. You there, Elf. What's your name? Ah, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes. Hello. I, I'm sorry, is there something you needed? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the king's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. You're the dwarf who walks with the Grey Wardens. A respectable decision. Some, like all Ash warriors, our training originates from the dwarves. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors, as you should well know. Our discipline was passed down to us from the time of Luthias the Dwarf Son. He trained with the Berserkers of your kind, long ago. Perhaps. I've never been, so I cannot say for certain, but I'm told our traditions are the same. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet, or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. 
To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Dark Spawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. <laughs> Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn Hordes? If you tried, we would kill you. And that is no joke. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Mmm. This isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. It's not what you know so much as what you are, really. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? We can try, but first we need to muzzle and medicate him. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. The wilds are off limits to non-soldiers, and I have many other hounds under my care. We're all busy. As it is, if we can get this hound better, we can re-imprint him on someone. Even you, if you like. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the maker, go with our blessing. For you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall.
We who betrayed your prophet are... Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the King. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. people safe from the dark spawn. Let us bow our heads. Our heads. Welcome, young man. I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly we would not get by on charity. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Our forehead is branded with magic which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. You might feel differently were you a mage. Of course. What may I assist you with? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, 
is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Not a dwarf, yet here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. We're right on the northern edge of the Kukari Wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. Oh, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some, uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> so long as you keep it quiet. Again, is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like.
You... You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. I... I don't want to see any more. I close my eyes and... Please just leave me be. I apologize if the soldier disturbed you. Ever since it's... I found him in the wilds, he's been like this. I can this. feel it inside it's me. It's so sad. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. We'll show these darkspawn they should have remained in the past. Welcome to the King's camp, my lord. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I do. Though I cannot pass on the respects of your ancestors, the Maker looks kindly on all who will receive him. How unwise, considering the difficult battle to come. May the Maker show you mercy anyhow. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware dwarves could be Grey Wardens. I've only seen a few of your folk in the castle dealing with the smithy. Since the Grey Wardens protect human lands, I guess a dwarf would not wish to join. Obviously, I'm wrong. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I would be lying if I said I wasn't. As a boy, my mother told us Darkspawn hunted down all children who misbehaved. It is a... Foolish superstition, I know, but I still shiver when I think of fighting them. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Oh, I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. 
I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it. But it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Yeah, well, do you want the key or not? Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You Grey Wardens get to ride with the King while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the King, right? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. We're all going to die. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Urgent duty, sorry. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know... One good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You are not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. You never know, these mages sneak up on you. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, from Orzammar. I should have recognized you right away, I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. Hmm. 
There haven't been any dwarven Grey Wardens in some time. You must know a lot about Darkspawn. Oh, I uh, guess you've got a more colorful background than Duncan let on. But don't worry, you'll see plenty of Darkspawn now. And probably sooner than you'd like. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Don't worry, I'll try not to embarrass you. Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? That makes things easy then. They'll both be back with Duncan by now. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk, we battle. Let us consider the evil before us in their pride. We should see what Duncan wants us to do next, don't you think? Well, in for a silver, in for a crown, as my dear mum always used to say. An evil that spreads like an illness across our land. To face them, we must first... You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I... apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. For the joining itself, I'll explain more once you've returned. You weren't recruited out of charity. All three of you are skilled and resourceful. Alistair is the most junior member of our order and will accompany you as is tradition. Do not worry. I doubt you will need to go far into the wilds to find what you seek. Of course. You must work together to collect the components, however. It's as much a part of the joining as what comes after. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Old treaties, if you're curious. 
Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Then you'd best start soon. You don't want to be in the wilds when night falls. Hmm. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Is that... Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please, help me. I've got to... return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back.
I am simply trying to stay alive. You do not see me fleeing, do you? A bit of fear isn't unnatural, you know. Few relish meeting Darkspawn up close. I know I don't. I know I'm relying on you to protect me. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. going. Don't 
Say I didn't warn you! On it! Say your prayers! going. What's this? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. Very well. Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Here.
We still need to find those documents, if they're even here. Yes? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Duncan stopped them. Invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me. But he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks too. We still have to find those documents. I've never heard of a tower that stood for more than ten years in this forest. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? I am ready. Indeed. I am ready. I hailed from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you travelled there? I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Our layman gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the blight defeated. 
Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. We should find those documents. Although if they were so important, why leave them out here? Indeed. From slumber. Not enough. Yes. Get jet. I'm off.
Hmm. And I'm off. Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder? Come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Tis a tower no longer. The wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird-talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers, if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the Chantry. If you wish to tell your chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you are here. Come, see for yourself. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you.
Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? A statement that possesses more wisdom than it implies. Be always aware. Or is it oblivious? I can never remember. So much about you is uncertain. And yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> they did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Do I? Perhaps I am simply an old woman with a penchant for mold departments. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Ostagar is a very defensible location. Even if the Horde outnumbers us, we should see a decisive victory. All right. Hmm. The Mabari stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Give me a moment, and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... or take another look. Yes. Back again? Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Well, let me know what you'd like.
again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. This nonsense talk stopped immediately. What are you about to naturally? So you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Let me be very clear on that point. You are not volunteers. Whether you were conscripted or recruited, you were chosen because you are needed. There is no turning back now. You must gather your courage for what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation, so it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint, we can sense it in the Darkspawn, and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. 
Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Sorry, Davith. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was... horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The King is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. If the King wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. We he can speak get more mad. after the meeting with the King. You'll feel bad and... Again, is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. Again, is there something you need? Some... Let me know what you'd like.
Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Oh, but you are. Every Grey Warden is needed now more than ever. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. No. It's best that you both go. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Magi trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. We soil our drawers, that's what. If it does, leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. Of course, even the best laid plans go awry. So do what you must. I trust you both. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all.
The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishal. Everywhere. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves.
now. Thank <laughs> you. 
go. Time to take the steel. All right.
Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Right, because clearly this is all just a misunderstanding. We'll laugh about this later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Logain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The King is depending on us.
Not enough. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, I'm I'm off. I'm off. I'm off.
many! Point me. The beacon is we over here. We must get to the top. We surely the missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. What do we do now? And I'm off. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not... Do as I command. Let's move! Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. 
Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I do not mind. Take your time. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Who says I would ransom for coin? Gold has its uses, I suppose, but power buys far more. She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Only stragglers that are long gone. You... Would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Are you sure you want me to describe it? I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere and darkspawn swarm them feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. You must speak to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and would be best to get an early start. I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I do not mind. Take your time. I agree. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not?
Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you, yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is... He was... our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later. In the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Duncan was like a father to me. I won't let his death be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Me, I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. The Arl would never do what Tan Loghain did. I know him too well. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. 
Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> ha! Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. Tis not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. I may have answers. Ask. Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? She would no more tell me than you, I assure you. From time to time, I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. 
It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. You missed your chance. Now it's Charred Rabbit from here on out. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travellers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch. Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. I mention it for its tavern, where travellers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> what good would it do you? You are no mage. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Like a worn dress or an old pair of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot give them away, apparently. Since before I was wrinkled and old. Oh, you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. I am not. Nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. You have your task to complete. Oh, have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. This is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. About the darkspawn? Then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the Blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Remember... It is up to you to destroy the Blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Oh, I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. That is between the world and me. Your business is elsewhere. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. 
What is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are more powerful than I by far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. Questions, questions. One would think a grey... Then we are... The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty?
joking. Surely you're joking. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy.
Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. Led by a dwarf, oddly enough. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? You want to pay more? Well, we'll happily accept donations. I could be mistaken, but that sounded threatening. Sounded like a threat to me. Interesting, because you seem a bit outnumbered. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But aren't them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. And just when we had things settled... Yeah! Uh! All right, we surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farm holders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tern Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to... Feed my family, you know? Couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well, then let me go! But there aren't any! Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me! I'm not going down without a fight! And I'm off. Yes, <laughs> 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 Now this should be fun. Uh, 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 Alright, I'm game. Uh, Is your time to die? Alright, let's go! go. Uh, oh, oh. Hmm.
Yes. 